my kitchen midnight munchies and more i am your chef sharice and today it is still really motherfucking hot up in my kitchen so i got my fan going all right so i've never made a vegan lemon olive oil cake i've never had lemon olive oil cake i've heard great things thank you Teresa, for the tip um i got a bunch of free olive oil that was damaged that was going to be thrown away so i figured let's use it up and i first want to say you guys there's a big announcement about my about my bakery at the end of this video so make sure you watch all the way through and uh let's get fucking into it First thing we need to do is to make our vegan buttermilk. So I'm gonna start by zesting a lemon before I juice my lemon. Now this is a lemon zester, a zester of all things <laughs> that you zest. And, <laughs> and if you don't have one and you can't do the lemon zest, totally fine, but I just wanted to show you that when you do it, you don't wanna like get any further than the white part. Like don't keep going. So you're gonna like zest and move your lemon while you're doing it and then move your lemon while you're doing it all around because you don't want this white part because that's gonna be super bitter and kind of change that flavor of that fresh lemon zest. And then I just juice my lemon right into the same bowl because I ain't got time for this. Just so we have one cup of almond milk. You can use any kind of your favorite non-dairy milk. And I'm gonna take about a tablespoon worth of this lemon juice. It wasn't quite a tablespoon lemon juice and zest and we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna let this hang out now what this is gonna do is this is gonna make a vegan buttermilk for us y'all we're gonna start with a medium-sized bowl with two cups of all-purpose flour I really like King's Ar King Arthur's organic because it's much lighter of a flour and then to that we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt we're just gonna mix this together a little bit make sure it's all incorporated well and you guys I'm so sorry I just realized my air conditioning was like blowing in your face while, while I was doing the last segment my bad and then we're gonna take a third of a cup of EVOO extra virgin olive oil and to that we're going to add half a cup of sugar this is vegan sugar you guys don't freak out <laughs> Um, Aldi has a vegan sugar that's not made using a uh, white granulated sugar, not using bone char. And Domino's brand, Domino, Domino's, what have you. Not the pizza, the sugar. <laughs> They're the ones made in Baltimore and New York have um, ones that are not used bone char, so you have to check the back. Now, to this, we're going to add our buttermilk, our vegan buttermilk mixture. We're gonna whisk until that is incorporated. I'm using a large bowl because we're gonna add our flour to this one. So we're just gonna whisk this in, make sure this is nice and combined. And now we're gonna slowly start adding our other mixture. Now, this is where after I get this in Incorporated, I'm gonna switch my whisk out for a spoon because we're gonna do a little folding action. So actually, I think I'm just gonna pour it all in there, fuck it, right? And we're just gonna fold this in. The reason we're not like whisking or stirring it is because we don't want it to get too dense. Folding is going to help the like the lemon and the baking soda, create some sort of delicious reaction to make it get some air bubbles. And if we stir it too much, we're gonna build up that gluten, which isn't going to help our cake rise. So you just wanna make sure it's all fully incorporated together in one cohesive dilly dobby. <laughs> Dilly Dobby. I don't even know. I just say words sometimes, you guys. But that actually looks pretty good. You don't want to do it too much or else it's not going to be nice and fluff. So we have a well-greased uh, like loaf pan. I don't really know what size you would call it. I, this is the only one I had, so fuck it. And we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to have our oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to let this bitch hang out for like 45 minutes and we're gonna test it we're gonna test it with a toothpick to make sure and remember you guys like I say all the time with ovens you really got to make sure that you're paying attention to your stuff because all ovens are different like I mean baking times are great and all but all ovens are fucking different you know what I mean we're just gonna smooth this out so we have a nice smoother top and then while this is in the oven we're gonna start working on our little icing glaze y'all for our glaze, we're gonna start with, I'm gonna actually do more of like an icing, so I'm gonna do mine a little bit thicker, you can do yours a little bit thinner, but I'm gonna start with about a cup of powdered sugar, and then we're gonna take our leftover zest and juice, and we're gonna pour that in there, let me get all the zesters, 
And we're going to start stirring it up. Now, I can already tell that I'm going to need a little bit more than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk to it to help thin this out a little bit more because I don't have quite enough lemon. You can obviously use like a whole nother lemon if you want, but like I already have the almond milk and not the lemon. So fuck that life just gonna do a little bit at a time now the the cool thing about this like icing glaze thing is that like you it's okay you don't have to follow the directions but you do have to follow me so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to get my notifications <laughs> but this is a little too thick for me so we're gonna add a little bit more but one of the great things about this little glaze um, kind of mixture is that if it's too thin if you like oops I put too much liquid add more powdered sugar if it's too thick add more liquid like it's it's really easy you guys I swear so just you know do it till you got your night actually you guys oh my god that might be okay just a titch more just a titch more and then I think stir that in I think I'm good you can certainly use a spoon to drizzle it on top, or if you make it thinner, you can just like use it as a glaze, but I'm a little bit extra, so I'm gonna pipe it on there because, you know, bringing back my Dairy Queen skills. But what I wanted to show you guys is if you're trying to fill a piping bag, what I like to do is I like to put it over a cup like this. That way it stands up straight and it's not hard to get all of your icing in there. And then you can use the edge of the cup to kind of like scrape your thing, boom. And then you don't have a whole lot on the edges, so when you lift it up, uh, like a song, voila. So now we have our little lemon olive oil cake, and I hope I don't just get my hand in there, but I'm gonna just do some, uh, it's actually still kinda hot, and I probably shouldn't be doing this right now, cause you wanna wait till it's completely cooled, or else this is gonna kinda get too thin, cause it's gonna melt the sugar, but I'm just, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little drizzle one and then I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to do another drizzle on top. So when I do my second drizzle, I kind of like to go in between the first drizzle. Now you can, you can do as much or as little as you want. I'm probably going to do even more than this because I have a lot of icing and like, I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot and it's not going anywhere. It's just want to look fancy. So actually, yeah, fuck it. You know what? I'm going to do some more. Fuck it. You know what I mean? You just go back and forth, squeeze it. Doesn't really matter what it looks like because you're just serving it to your fam jam. And since I have some left over, I'm just gonna throw it in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna store this in my refrigerator because then I can use this on like fucking pancakes or something, y'all. You guys, look, I already cut some off. Like, look at how moist it is. It's a lot more dense than regular lemon cake because of the olive oil, but I'm like so excited to try this. I can't even. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Mmm. That olive oil? Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is not like a regular lemon cake. That olive oil gives it like a whole nother definition of flavor that I definitely did not expect. Like you guys got to make this shit. And I will tell you that at the end of the holiday, so January 1st, I'm going to close my bakery. What? I'm going to close the online bakery and I'm going to put all of my recipes into a cookbook for you guys to purchase and I cannot wait. So if you want something and you don't know how to make it and you're not good at baker and you want to send something somewhere and you don't want to deal with shipping and all that stuff, make sure you do it now between January 1st because that shit going to be gone. And if you want the full written recipe of this cake, go to uh, my, what is it, my website? <laughs> my recipe website, midnightmunchiesandmore.com. This was definitely inspired by Culinary Hill. Very much like them. I switched it up just a little bit, but definitely inspired by them. They have great stuff, so check them out. And then make sure you guys subscribe. And I love you all so much, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, good night, kisses, Wally wishes, and reminiscence. His eyes kiss and Wally wish for the full moon above. Oh, ivory dove, passionate love, listening closely, positioning my intuition for her nutrition and ambition. Nutrition and ambition, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.